Hey guys, Doug Stexton here. This is new Corvette, Ben. How you doing? And today we're going to review this car. You guys ready for this? It's awesome. If I can get this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Bam. 30. <laughs> 1973 Corvette C3. Big block. All right, crank her up. <laughs> So we took it to a different location. Ben, tell us more about the car. Sure, okay, this is a 1973 Chevrolet Corvette. Uh, what makes it special, besides being an awesome C3, is that it's actually a big block car. So very, very few cars in 73 came with the optional big block engine. If you know anything about your history, uh, 73, 74 was the oil embargo, so people started caring about how many miles to the gallon they can get in their cars. And a bigger motor that sucks more gasoline, well, yeah, nobody wanted them. So in 73, they actually only made 4,400 big block cars out of about 40,000 Corvettes. So there's really not very many of them. Let me go ahead and show you under the hood. Now in 73, these Corvettes came with really a detuned, smogged up, government regulated big block engine. So they weren't really that special. This one on the other hand, no longer has that engine. It has a built um, 396 cubic inch big block engine from a, I believe it's a 1968 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. So it's definitely a little bit better of an engine than you could get stock. So it's been upgraded a little bit. It's running a, a Holley 750 CFM carburetor with a Edelbrock aluminum intake, chrome valve covers, electric fans for the radiator, but my favorite part about it is these hooker side pipes and headers. They definitely give the car a very, very unique sound, and you can't replicate it with regular exhaust with any kind of normal muffler. So, believe it or not, this car actually used to be gold. You can kind of see a little bit of the gold right here in the interior. Not that great of a color. I like red better, but it has in the interior, I put in new carpet, put in new door panels, cleaned up everything else, made sure you know it looks presentable. But believe it or not, it has a, actually an interesting array of options. It has power steering, it has power brakes, but it doesn't have power windows, and it doesn't have air conditioning. So back in 73, you could actually get a car without air conditioning. Now you have to ask for it to not have air conditioning. So yeah, that's it. But we're gonna go ahead and drive that around, that, drive this around today, and the Dutch Texan will be reviewing it for you. Now keep in mind, when we, when we do drive it, the car is 40 years old, so it's not gonna be like that awesome Mustang he has. <laughs> so, look forward to that. You heard it here, folks. He likes Mustangs too. He's not yeah. just about Corvettes. Ah, don't say that. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just cut one. that out. We'll, ju we'll just cut that out. <laughs> he likes Fords though. He, uh, he's working on a Model A right now. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. <laughs> you got the keys? It's in there. Right. Oh, it's in there. So make sure you shut your door all the way because this weather shipping's new, so it doesn't like to shut. All right. You know, it's funny. These are the uh, seats out of my convertible. Okay, so where's the clutch in, in this thing again? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, so you have to push the pedal then, I suppose. No. That's an old car thing. Or a new it's, car thing. You don't gotta push brake or anything to start the It car. starts up like a boss. You know what? I'm, I'm here, down here. <laughs> yeah, that one actually works. I made sure that one worked. Right, perfect. So when I fall out, you're gonna pay my wife some. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll, 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 right? I'll call her. <laughs> okay, where's the reverse in this thing? Now one thing you want to be careful of in driving these is that I would say at least 60 to 65 percent of the cars in front of you. Now when you drive a normal car, you know, you're pretty much even. On this one, it's like sitting in the back seat of your Mustang and driving it. Does that make sense? We're getting attacked again. Well, you better <laughs> drive. 
<laughs> One more. There you go. Uh, it's kind of hard to figure out the shifter. Yeah, you get used to it. They're all the same. But anyway, the, the 85 that I bought last weekend. Oh, we're going to go ahead and so, wait. That'd be a bad way to start one of these reviews. Is, yeah, don't, uh, don't wreck it. <laughs> well, guys, 396 Corvette Big Block. And the first thing that I notice, of course, it's an older car, so you can't really talk about handling and such, but you're still going to notice quite a bit of difference with how the steering is. The steering is, it feels very heavy, but as soon as you go a little bit further, it just smooths out. So it's just something you should have to get used to when you drive one of these cars, for sure. The other thing that I notice is, because it has the hooker headers and those hooker side pipes, is that it is loud as all hell. Now, if you do not like to wow. get pulled over for loud pipes, this is definitely not for you. Let me just demonstrate a little bit. You know, the, Idling is fine, but this is uh, this is pretty bad. <laughs> the, in a good way. The crazy part about it is that these side pipes actually have baffles in them. So they, they could be louder. If you just had straight up straight pipes coming out the side of your car, I mean, you'd be deaf. It'd be loud. Louder still than louder. this? Louder, yes. They, they have noise reducing baffles in them. Mufflers. <laughs> I don't know what these noise reducing baffles are supposed to do, but... Let me hear that one more time. Oh, a little backfire there. <laughs> That's another thing that I actually like about these old cars is that, and why am I indicating? <laughs> is that the uh, the cars are more, well, how you say that? More pure, you know, you don't get that in fuel injected cars, at least fuel injected cars that run right. These cars, they're raw, everything is mechanical and that is the number one reason why you get that kind of stuff. And I love every second of it. You know, my Mustang's cool, but it pains me to say. Oh, he's gonna say it, he's gonna say it. This one's cooler. <laughs> oh man, great. that sound though, that sound, that sound is so great. I just put a, a brand new Holly Carb on it, which probably could use a little bit more tuning, but it runs a lot better than the old Holly that it had on it before. I love box, this. So. And this high-rise hood that's on the front, that's pretty awesome too. I need, I don't the, think that's stock, no. but you can actually you see, can see the, air cleaner, the air cleaner. That is pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, the, see the problem with the big blocks is in stock form, they have a very, very tiny, tiny short intake manifold. It, it doesn't even go higher than the valve covers. Oh. And the reason why, since the engine's so much bigger and taller, they had to fit it under the stock hood. If you put any kind of aftermarket intake, you have to get a higher hood. You have to, or it will not fit. Now, of course we're going this way, why? Yeah. Get that on the camera. Hell yeah. And that, that is freaking awesome. That kid drives that to high school every day, which I, I respect that. That kid's awesome. That kid's <laughs> I don't know, really, really but awesome. nothing like an early 50s Chevy pickup with no power anything. I don't want to go too fast over here. There's people out on the street and it's a residential neighborhood. We're definitely waking everyone up over here. <laughs> There's no doubt about that with these loud pipes. Yeah. This couldn't be any Love kind it. of sneak around car at all. <laughs> You'd have to roll it like three blocks down and then start it. You know? <laughs> yeah, this is great. Yeah, usually it's funny when I drive my other 73, which isn't as loud, but it's pretty loud. My wife says she can hear me coming, like, from the street, <laughs> the main street, before I even get there. Yeah, this is absolute, absolute awesomeness. Now, I'm, of course, getting completely turned around in this neighborhood. We can't take it out of the neighborhood because of well, reasons. It looks like you're going to have to, unless you're going up here, and then you'll take a left. I have the perfect form of navigation. It's a person that actually knows where the neighborhood goes and snakes. I'm just driving wherever the hell I want to. <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, I love this car, dude. You can buy it from me. Yeah, 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 but you know, that, that's a big problem. You just the buy money. a house. <laughs> you have money. It's always yeah. about money. 
but why can't these be free? <laughs> exactly. Why can't they be free? Because if they're free, then you don't appreciate them. Yeah, and then everybody has one. And exactly. It's just like no, that's not cool the 85 anymore. Hondas we already just passed. Yeah. Oh, everybody's got a silver Honda. Yeah, right? exactly. No one Honda. has a 73 Corvette C3. Or two. <laughs> uh, go that way. All right. Sweet. Step on a little bit. That is awesome. Actually, and of course you can't see it because there's no camera out the front. <laughs> That's a Marauder right there. Just trust me on that. Yeah, go that way. If you can see it now, it's right there. <laughs> Dude, this car is absolutely awesome. I would love to own one of these. Now, the one thing that I do have to say about the 73s, and that is more of a... Uh, how do you say that? Just a little tidbit that I don't like about these is that they don't have the fr chrome front bumpers that the older ones have, like the 68 up to 72, I believe. Right, Ben? Yes. Yeah, so that is the only thing that I am not that big of a fan of, but still has the chrome back bumpers and that. <laughs> One more time. That is just absolutely awesome. I love this car. This is, if I had 15, 16 grand to spend, which would land you in a car like this, 100% get one of these for sure. I might be a Ford guy, but I think Ben has sold me on Corvettes. This is absolutely freaking awesome and it, I guess, as a family guy, I have one more downside. Only two people can get in it. But, as a family guy, I also have one upside. Only two people can in it. So it's me, me, my wife, me, my daughter, me, my son, going to car shows, all that kind of stuff. You leave half the family behind if you want to. And sometimes, if you're a family guy, you do want to have that time with your wife or that time with your one child, just a little one-on-one. -on -one. I actually like this car even more now because someone just pulled over and let me go for half a block. <laughs> just letting me through. That's probably another reason why you want to want these old cars because people notice you. There's also the people that don't notice you because they're on the cell phone. But you know, it, it, it is what it is. story. Exactly. I keep harping on that. It is what it is. This has been an awesome experience. I would like to thank the Corvette Ben for letting me drive his awesome C3 Corvette big block. This is absolutely awesome sauce. Thanks, dude. But wait, there's more. You didn't tell him about the other one. Oh, yeah, 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 Part the two. other one. Part two. To be determined when that's gonna happen, but it will happen. He has his personal C3 Corvette, also a 73. And it also has a big block, and it's also a official big block car, just and like this one it's is. It's also red. And That's it's also weird. red, yes. <laughs> but it's a convertible, and it has a big block in it, like I said, but that big block is a bit worked up, I should say. Now, it's also automatic. It's going to be freaking awesome to drive that one around, and I can't wait to compare the two to see how it is. No sight wipes don't matter. Well, here's the interesting thing is that my convertible with the straight pipes at the back, since there's no roof, you can actually still hear them quite well. <laughs> no sight pipes don't Man, this is definitely, if I could select my dream Corvette right now, 72, because it's gonna be less expensive, Big block, obviously. These side pipes and probably that Viper Blue. It's a good color. And, oh, four speed. I gotta have a four speed, man. I cannot not have a four speed. <laughs> it's actually not that hard to that hard to switch out, to tell you the truth. Now we're back where we began. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, what a car, watch dude. Your, uh, 
bunch of calves. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another thing that I did not mention. When it comes down to side pipes, these are now going to be hot. Real very hot. hot. So, of course, you got to definitely make sure that you clear it. And I say clear it because a friend of Ben's, let me just take this camera off here, already found out the hard way. That's uh, what's left of a pair of Levi's, I believe. <laughs> Yeah, you off. just it's burnt on yeah, that's uh, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I uh, bet he has a little bit of a burn mark on his calf now. But you know, it, it is what it is. Live and learn.